गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट बीएससी सेमिस्टर वन इलेक्ट्रिकल एप्लियंसेस इन दिस टॉपिक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टर्स एंड इंसुलेटर्स ट्रांसफार्मर एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी पावर एंड किलोवाट आवर्स फर्स्ट टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टर्स एंड इंसुलेटर्स कंडक्टर्स कंडक्टर्स मींस ए मटेरियल व्हिच अलोस इलेक्ट्रिक करंट थ्रू इट इज कॉल्ड एन इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टर इट मींस ए मटेरियल व्हिच अलोस इलेक्ट्रिकल करंट थ्रू इट ऑल मेटल्स आर कंडक्टर्स that means all metals are allow to pass electrical current through it and conductor consist very large number of free electrons a conductor consist very large number of free electrons and examples of conductors are silver copper iron and gold these are the examples of conductors and in conductors the electrical resistivity of conductor is extremely small so conductor consists very large number of free electrons means its resistivity is very low and the order of resistivity is 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meters so the resistivity of the conductor is extremely small whose value is 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meters and according to band theory electrons are exist in valence band and conduction band and for conductors the valence band and conduction bands are both are overlap together hence the electrons are easily move from valence band to conduction band that's why it consist a large number of free electrons hence it allows electrical current through it and in conductors the resistivity is always proportional to temperature so resistivity of conductor increases while increasing with temperature and conductor which obeys ohms law such conductors are called ohmic conductors and which does not obey ohms law such conductors are called non ohmic conductors so this is about conductors and what about insulators insulator insulator is a material which does not allow electrical current through it so insulators are not allows electrical current through it so examples are rubber glass dry wood these are the examples of insulators and here the electrical resistivity is very high the electrical resistivity order is 10 to the power of 16 ohm meter and according to band theory the energy gap between valence band and conduction band is very high and the electrons are very low hence insulators have very small number of electrons small number of free electrons and here the resistivity of insulator is inversely proportional to temperature resistivity of insulator decreases with increase in temperature and insulators are does not obey ohms law this is the insulators now another topic transformer this is the symbol of transformer so you observe transformer consist primary coil secondary coil and iron core this is the ac input and this is the output so transformer is based on principle of mutual induction and transformer is a device 
विच ट्रांसफर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी फ्रॉम वन सर्क्यूट टू एनदर सर्क्यूट थ्रू ए इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन प्रिंसिपल एंड ट्रांसफार्मर इज आल्सो यूज टू इंक्रीज और टू डिक्रीज द वोल्टेज इन एसी सर्क्यूट्स सो ट्रांसफार्मर इज यूज टू इंक्रीज वोल्टेज और टू डिक्रीज वोल्टेज इन एसी सर्क्यूट्स and the transformer is based on principle of mutual induction according to principle of mutual induction when a magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes it produces an induced emf of same frequency and transformer consists mainly three components one is primary coil and another one is secondary coil and third one is iron core so next so the primary and secondary coils are wrapped around the common soft iron core so the primary coil is connected to the ac power power source while the secondary coil is connected to the load so while you observe the diagram it it is the primary coil and primary coil and secondary coil are wrapped around the iron oak iron core and primary coil is connected to ac input and secondary coil is connected to output which is load and when an alternating current of voltage v1 or emf e1 is passed through the primary coil the magnetic flux flux linked with the secondary coil changes so due to change in magnetic flux of the same frequency is produced in the secondary coil due to electromagnetic induction here n1 is the number of turns in primary coil n2 is the number of turns in secondary coil where v1 is the voltage in primary and v2 is the voltage or v2 means voltage e2 means emf in secondary coil then transformer principle is E1 by E2 is equal to N1 by N2. This is called transformer principle, and this is also called EMF equation of the transformer. So it is clear that the ratio of input and output voltages depends on the ratio of number of turns of primary and secondary coil. Here, E1 by E2 is always depends on n1 by n2 so e1 means input voltage e2 means output voltage n1 means number of turns in primary coil n2 means number of turns in secondary coil so the ratio of input and output voltages are depends on ratio of number of turns of primary and secondary coils generally transformers are two types one is step up transformer and another one is step down transformer so in step up transformer the number of turns in secondary coil is greater than number of turns in primary coil n2 is greater than n1 or e2 is greater than e1 so where if n2 is greater than n1 means e2 is greater than e1 hence voltage increases such transformer is called step up transformer so step up transformer is used to increase the voltage to increase the voltage and example is x ray generators so generally x ray generators required a huge amount of voltage in order of 20000 volts so such voltage is obtained by using step up transformer so particle accelerators x ray generators these are consist large amount of voltages so these are used step up transformer and another one is step down transformer if n2 is less than n1 that means the number of turns in primary coil is greater than number of turns in secondary coil so then e2 is less than e1 here voltage is decreases such transformer is called step down transformer so example of step down transformer is bed lamp 
so bed lamp requires only 6 volts but our household electricity can sit 220 volts so here step down transformer is converts to 220 into 6 so step down transformer is in bed lamp bed lamp consists step down transformer so step down transformer is while voltage is decreases while voltage decreases uh, electrical appliances are used step down transformer example 6 volts bed lamp and the efficiency of transformer is defined as the the ratio of output power to input power generally efficiency neta is equal to output power by input power that is called efficiency this is about transformer and finally we discuss about electrical energy power and kilowatt hour so an electrical circuit transfers energy to electrical appliances due to the flow of electrons only the energy transfer is depends on the current voltage and resistance of the circuit so generally an electrical circuit consists a large number of components so here the electrical current is transfer energy due to flow of electrons only while the electrical components is allows to flow of electrons means it consists a particular amount of electrical current so this energy transfer is depends on how much of voltage contained how much of voltage required how much of resistance obtained of the circuit so an electrical circuit transfer energy to electrical appliances means due to flow of electrons and the amount of energy transferred by a electrical circuit to the load is called electrical power so how much of energy transferred from one device to another device is depends on electrical power so if power is large means large amount of energy is transferred from one end to another end and electrical power is measured in watts the units of electrical power is watts and electrical power is also defined by the product of voltage and electrical current electrical power p is equal to v into i where v is voltage and i is electrical current p is equal to v i and we know that ohms law v is equal to i r v is equal to i r means i is equal to v by r so in place of i we substitute i is equal to v by r then electrical power p is equal to v square by r that means electrical power is always directly proportional to square of the voltage so electrical power is always directly proportional to square of the voltage not current square of the voltage and electrical power is inversely proportional to the resistance electrical power is inversely proportional to resistance p is directly proportional to v square and p is inversely proportional to r and kilowatt hour kilowatt hour is a unit of electrical energy consumed so if a house consists number of electrical appliances like ac fridge tv cooler and these are consumes energy in terms of kilowatt hours based on number of number of based on how much of energy consumed by the electrical appliance our electrical bill is depends on how much of energy is consumed so the energy consumed by an electrical appliance of 1 kilowatt power is one hour duration is called kilowatt hour so one hour duration how much of energy consumed that is called kilowatt hour kilowatt hour is equal to 36 into 10 to the power of 5 joules so the energy consumed by an electrical appliances of one kilowatt power in 
वन आवर् ड्यूरेशन इज का किलोवाट आवर् अंड किलोवाट आवर् इज ईक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दि पवर आफ फाइव जौल दिस अबउट एलेक्ट्रिकल पवर् थैंक यू सो प्लीज सब्सक्रैब मई चानल फिजिस् वाले दिस्ज सतोष कुमार लेक्चर इन फिजिस् थैंक यू फर् वाचिंग